us here before. No one, no one knows who we are. And we came here and we shared our testimonies and we gave two salvation messages and it was amazing. God really moved and I'm praying that he's, that these people really grasp onto the thought of God being more than just a concept in their lives and being their best friend and their father. And I just pray that this place is continually being blessed by the Lord and that they will continue to grow in God. Young people all over the place raising their hands, jumping up and down, listening to the band FLTF. And just the, the amazing response to, to listening to the gospel and listening to the testimonies of the boys, but listening to the music and recognizing that music has such a power to, to engage people, to connect people. And God has placed us here today in this, in this country, in this detention center, to be able to, to see the gospel go forth and to, to partner with the group that's already doing a work here, to seeing the gospel go forward and recognizing that God has a special plan for each and every one of these young people that have come today. And we're just glad to be a part of it today. And we just want you to, to enjoy what's happening here and just recognize that God does have a plan. So um, here we are at the youth detention in Chumburi. So um, we just finished wrap up um, the concert and some um, just basically big outreach basically um, we did here. And as you have um, the Canadian team um, youth band right here um, with our youth as we running extreme in Thailand or our youth group. And just to have they interact with each other, um, playing music side by side, um, it just really encouraged them, you know, because, I mean, they, they, they're just pumped. They're just pumped. We came up with From Love to Forfeit because it just speaks about how, you know, Jesus Christ loved humanity so much and he cared for each and each individual so much that that he just wanted to give himself just to save us from eternal death. And so that's what From Love to Forfeit means is that God, he loved us so much and he just gave himself for us. It was pretty crazy because when it came to deciding whether we wanted to go to Florida to record our album or to go to Thailand, we really felt in our hearts that God was saying, you know, you need to go to Thailand. So we did. We went here and uh, I think God is really blessing us and giving us kind of rewards because I uh, actually ended up working out that we got to do both. Now we're in Thailand and we've figured out ways around doing our stuff in Florida too and getting the guy to work on our stuff in Florida as well as coming here. So I really think that God really rewarded us for uh, being obedient to his word and uh, what he wanted us to do. So. 
It's been great traveling with From Love to Forfeit in Thailand, but uh, I see that God is using them in other opportunities to reach this incredible generation that is so hungry for something real. They are so hungry to reach out and grab anything that they can they can identify with. And, and, and From Love to Forfeit has got an incredible opportunity of ministering God, Jesus Christ himself. I think coming here has done, has shown both the band From Love to Forfeit and the DGW team a lot of things. One thing for the D2W aspect of things is it really shown us as we are doing the sessions and we are doing the workshops and the classes, it really showed us that Thailand has a real, a big heart to do worship and worship God and they have a real, a real hunger to get closer with God and offer God their worship because the students here as we were teaching them, they were so awesome and they were so interested in learning more things and more ways to expand their practices of worship and expand how they can play music on stage to help people get drawn into worship. Well, uh, this has been a great conference, worship conference. Uh, we learned a lot about worship uh, biblically and uh, just seeing different styles of worship. And uh, I think for Thailand, this is going to be great because uh, Thailand is a uh, yeah, there's a very young generation on the rise. They're very uh, into the uh, Western musical scene and, and that sort of uh, trendy kind of music. So I think uh, with uh, these kind of things that we learned in the conference that uh, the worship teams can uh, begin to uh, shape up uh, their style of worship differently and really reach another generation. Wow, thank you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the future, what we receive tonight. Like personally, we have received so much. We have different classes that teach us about, um, you know, practical way how we sing or, or hear the instrument or, or tune out the song. And also in spiritual way, what's the reason why we worship God and how we can worship God in our spirit and in truth. A really good impartation to our, our worship leaders here to see things outside of their own uh, little bubble and uh, to really experience different styles of worship. So it's really great, really beneficial that these guys came and uh, really, uh, really blessing to us to have these teams come from the other nations to Thailand. You know, I'm looking forward to see our generation or the new generation to pick up this um, for what they have sold into our ministry and use it in, in our church, our Thai church or our international church and all around Thailand. And I'm looking forward for that. Hi, I'm Pastor Charlotte Quist from Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada, and I am a mom of one of the girls who has just recently finished the seven weeks in Asia. Last summer was her year there, my daughter Amy. The program is designed to help them find the edge of themselves physically and spiritually and relationally, and they, they do bump into walls. And so good to have your kid on the other side of the world dealing with the edge of themselves, because we all know at the edge of yourself is where God begins. From a parent, I want to encourage you, this might be exactly the right thing for your child because there's something that he might need to, to, to get through to them that can only be found when they're away from their friends, they're away from their family, they're away from the security that they know. And I would really encourage you, it's a good program, they don't die, it's fine, they come home healthy and strong and safe and very much built up in the Lord. And so bless you as you pray about sending your child. If you're looking in Bible schools, come and study here. There's so much fun stuff to do here. We're not just sitting in class. You get to experience outreaches for hands-on kind of thing. If you want to be a good leader, BBCI Thailand will help you to expect great things from God. And I guarantee you guys, you guys will not regret coming at all. good um, to have um, Design to Worship um, come to Thailand for sure and that's, that's really encourage our youth basically because um, we, we try to stir our youth to, to be more musical and also be more into godly worship and stuff like that because um, most of the youth that we are discipling they are brand new Christian or they don't know anything about Jesus Christ so um, just to have them here um, it, it encourage them and stir them up a lot 
just to sit in, in the teaching of um, Design to Worship to you, it, it was good because um, they also teach us a lot about um, not to copy um, basically music, right? Or anything, doesn't matter what it is, right? Um, it's a spirit. You know, it's a spiritual thing in, in Thailand because normally Thai people, they love to copy stuff, you know. Um, you go to the mall, you go walk into um, the market, you see everything possible that you could find, copy from Nike, copy from um, um, Ray-Ban or any, any famous, right? We love to copy stuff, right? And the message was good because we, we sit, basically we sit under the teaching of just basically do not copy, right? Stop copying, stop copying, right? Because God wants us to have something on our own. ตอนนี้ผมมีหน้าที่เกี่ยวกับการสร้างทีมนมัสการแล้วก็สอนดนตรีนะครับพูดถึงเรื่องการแต่งเพลงเขาได้สอนให้เราได้รู้จักความสําคัญในการแต่งเพลงที่เป็นภาษาของเราเองโดยที่ไม่ต้องไปไม่ต้องไปลอกเรียนแบบของต่างประเทศนะครับแล้วก็ให้เราได้คิดที่เป็นเอกลักษณ์ของตัวเราเองขึ้นมาเพื่อที่จะสร้างนมัสการแบบใหม่ของประเทศไทย God want us to create a new thing you know other than just try to copy and that's including to music right you know because we um, after all of this time we've been only tr translating from Hail Song from Chris Tomlin or anything like that you know but I mean I think it's time you know it's time um, to, to, to start writing our own stuff you know to, to, to actually worship in our own language in our own instruments, in our own, you know, and it is time, you know, and I think God want, want, want that too. Oh. การที่ทีมของ FLTF ได้เข้ามาสัมมนาในประเทศไทยครับที่วิกตอรี่ทำให้เราได้เรียนรู้ในหลายๆสิ่งหลายๆอย่างถึงการเข้าถึงการนมัสการพระเจ้าผมเองก็ได้เห็นถึงความสําคัญของการนมัสการในประเทศไทยแล้วก็สิ่งที่สําคัญของการนมัสการไม่ใช่เป็นการร้องเพลงไม่ใช่เป็นการเล่นดนตรีแต่การที่เราจะเข้าใกล้ชิดสนิทกับพระเจ้ามากขึ้นเป็นสิ่งที่ดีที่สุดที่จะแต่งเพลงในภาษาของเราเองเพื่อที่จะถวายเกียรติแด่พระเจ้าครับเป็นแรงบันดาลใจผลักดันให้พวกเราเนี่ยที่จะทําดนตรีซึ่งเป็นภาษาของพวกเราเองออกมาครับและตอนนี้ผมเองก็มีความหวังแล้วก็มีความตั้งใจอย่างมากที่จะทําในอัลบั้มชุดต่อไปนะครับโดยที่ทีมของ FLTF เป็นได้ให้ความรู้เอาไว้กับพวกเรานะครับนี่ไม่ของผมคืออยากจะเห็นประเทศไทยมีการนมัสการในรูปแบบใหม่ๆอย่างเช่นในทีมดีไซน์ทูวอชิปอ่ะวินิทูซีอ่ะคริสเตียนพีโบไรซ์อัพและวิลลี่ยูสมิวสิกใน God's way เพราะถ้าไม่ก็มีสองทางที่จะไปไปในโลกแบบสังคมหรือไปไปที่พระเจ้าแต่ถ้าเราตั้งใจในนี้ถ้าเราวางใจในนี้ถ้าเราวางใจในนี้ถ้าเราวางใจในนี้ถ้าเราวางใจในนี้ถ้าเราวางใจในนี้ถ้าเราวางใจในนี้ถ้าเราวางใจ This country itself has over 70 million people, you know, and just think about it. If every one of them worshiping God together, oh, that's just so awesome, you know. And that's what we need, you know. And that's what I see. I see. Um, we're gonna use this music instruments in in a godly way into in, into worshiping God, you know. And out of that, we'll see thousands and hundreds of thousands worshiping God, you know, in Thailand. And it will transform the nation. You know, it will transform the nation. It won't be about just becoming a rock star, you know, but it will be about becoming worshiper for Christ. And that's what we want to see. And that's what we'll, we'll be seeing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back um, next week with Dr. Al.